Station 26.
Good evening, and welcome to the 48th commencement at Cypress College. I'm Bob Simpson, the president of the college, and I am extremely pleased you have joined us tonight as we celebrate the achievements of our graduating class of 2015. Congratulations, Chargers! <laughs> Approximately 350 students are participating in the commencement ceremony, one of our highest totals ever. I'm also gratified by the very strong participation from our faculty today. Students, about 90 of your instructors are here this evening to support you. Again, close to a record number of attendees. At this time, please rise for the presentation of the colors by the California State Military Reserve Color Guard, Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, from the Los Alamitos Joint Forces Training Base. I would also like to ask military veterans and active duty personnel who are present to join me in saluting our nation's flag as it processes. Please remain standing for our national anthem, which will be performed by student Genesee Bowserman. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our special guests here on the dais. 
As you are introduced, would you please stand? And members of the audience, please hold your applause until all guests have been introduced. Starting from my left are Mr. Fred Williams, the Interim Chancellor of the North Orange County Community College District. North Orange County Community College District Trustee, Mr. Jeff Brown. Professor Jolina Grande, President of the Cypress College Academic Senate and a faculty member in our Mortuary Science Program. Student Ryan Justinbaugh, President of the Associated Students. Tiana Budice, Student Trustee from Cypress College. Amber Stobie, our 2015 Outstanding Graduate. And to my right, Dr. Barbara Dunsheath, the Vice President of the North Orange County Community College District Board of Trustees. Chief Jackie Gomez Whiteley, a, a friend of the college and tonight's com commencement keynote speaker. Mr. George O'Hara, President of the Cypress College Foundation Board of Directors. And Captain Russ Bird, our 2015 Outstanding Alum. Seated with the faculty are colleagues from the district and the college, executive leadership with whom I work most closely, and I'd like them to stand as I also introduce them. Dr. Cherry Lee Bug, the Vice Chancellor of Educational Services and Technology. Ms. Kai Stearns Moore, our District Director of Public Affairs and a member of our Chancellor staff. Dr. Shantanu Bandapadre, Executive Vice President of Educational Programs and Student Services and Mr. Philip Dykstra, Cypress College's Director of Institutional Research and Planning. Ladies and gentlemen, would you, would you please join me in welcoming our special guests. <laughs> to bring greetings from the North Orange County Community College District, it is now my pleasure to invite to the podium our Interim Chancellor, Mr. Fred Williams. Good evening, everyone, and especially good evening, graduates. Tonight marks a special achievement in your lives, and I hope you truly enjoy it. I have to tell you that even after attending these ceremonies for 20 years, I am still so blown away by the talented students we have at Cypress College and throughout the district. When I hear all that you've already done with your lives, I'm honestly humbled to be standing in front of you. Just take your outstanding grant graduate, Amber Stobie, for instance. When I read her bio, I was so impressed. She's an honor student, active in clubs, a coach, and volunteers. When I was in college, I was lucky to remain awake during my classes, much less get a 4.0 while helping others improve their lives. And I know that Amber's story is just one of many. Each of you has a unique success story, and our district is so pleased to help you along your journey. And I'm sure it will be on to great things. Remember that you are always welcome at Cypress College. Be proud of yourselves tonight. We are. Graduates, on behalf of all the employees in the North Orange County Community College District and the from the Board of Trustees, I wish you a heartfelt congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. And now, with greetings from the North Orange County Community College District Board of Trustees, please welcome Dr. Barbara Dunsheath, one of the state's recognized leaders in student success. Great evening. Tonight is about greatness, so it's not just a good evening, it's a great evening. At North Orange County Community College District, our motto is greatness achieved. What does it mean to be great, not just good? It means we have great faculty and staff and administrators. People like Dee Sato, biology instructor chosen as faculty member of the year. Emma Anton, outstanding part-time faculty from diagnostics, medical, sonography. And Peter Matthews, the recipient of the Charger Award. Great in people like Mark Posner, who received the Above and Beyond Award. Great that we are in the process of hiring 69 new faculty for next academic year. And when we hire somebody, be it the new chancellor or groundskeeper, we never settle, 
we only hire the best. Greatness means we provide exemplary educational facilities for today and for the future. The board is eternally grateful for all the constituents in our district who voted to support the Measure J bond last November. Your vote was a great act of hope for the future of Cypress and Fullerton Colleges as we move into the next 50 years and the next 100 years respectively. Greatness means we have high quality educational programs. Cypress's academic excellence has been recognized by the state's chancellor's office when they selected the mortuary science program as one of 12 programs statewide to pilot a baccalaureate degree. So all those students in the burgundy stalls, raise your hand, burgundy stall people. You think you might be done here at Cyprus? We hope you stick around. Perhaps the foremost example of greatness at North Orange County Community College District is our students. It's all about you folks tonight. You in the robes with the flat tops up here. What does greatness mean for you? In a world of 7.315 billion people, in a country of 320.887 million, in a state of 38.8 million, how can one person truly be great? The reality is that we are all small specks in the universe. I was humbled myself thinking about the speech because if you Google great graduation speeches, I'm not there in any YouTubes. It would be absurd for me to think that I could match the significance of somebody like Steve Jobs' Stanford Address in 2005, or John Kennedy's 1963 Address at American University. And I know, I know I'm not nearly as funny as Ellen DeGeneres when she addressed the 2009 graduates of Tulane University. And there is absolutely no way I'm gonna dance at the end like she did. Greatness for each of us means to be the absolute best person that you can be. And that's going to take the rest of your life. It will be exhausting and it will be exhilarating. The point is that you have to keep pushing yourself. Never settle, never give up. Find people in your life who will challenge and encourage you. Michael Reese in his four agreements says, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. But in any, any circumstances, simply do your best. Robert Kennedy said that few will have the greatness to bend history itself, but each of us can work to change a small portion of events, and in the total, all of those acts will be written in the history of this generation. So enjoy this great evening, have a great day, build a great life. If you do, greatness will be achieved. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Dunsheath. Our slogan at Cypress College is Minds Motivated. I'm pleased to introduce one of our most motivated students, Ryan Johnstonbaugh, the president of the Associated Students of Cypress College. Ryan. Thank you. Ready to go. Awesome. Good evening. To our faculty, administrations, students, and honors guests, I would like to personally thank you for being a part of our celebration today. Today is a milestone for many of us as it marks the beginning of a journey, a journey that's going to take us beyond this campus. While the destination of this journey is unknown, it fills me with excitement to think that we have been given the chance to take it. Each of us have come to Cypress College and spent our time here in different ways, but we have together come to call this college our home. It has been one that has hosted some of our greatest achievements, as well as some of our hardest trials. It has been a place of support and encouragement, and it's also been a place of challenge and frustration. But most of all, Cyprus has been a place where we have grown. Whether it be the proper way to write an essay for English, or whether or not we're actually gonna have that professor miss out when that assignment's due, our time here has taught us numerous things and led us to where we are now. 
sitting side by side as graduates. As we sit here today and look back on our experiences, there's a bittersweet feeling we hold on to. On one hand, the time here is over, tests are done, and celebration is all that remains. But on the other hand, this time signals for a parting we must make from those whom we have developed connections. Also today brings up a question, what comes next? During my time here at Cyprus, I remember asking myself that question, and it always seemed to stick up with the same question that follows. What is the secret to success? Wouldn't it be great that during our time in college, there was just one little trick that would have gotten us to ace all of our classes, or when we move out in the world, we find that one secret thing that just gets us all of the wealth we can imagine. Is there that secret? And in addition, I believe this question pertains to each and every one of you, to each and one of us. Now, after thinking this over, I came to an understanding that was a little different than what I hoped. As far as success goes, there is no secret. There is no one thing that will make our lives work out perfectly. However, that's not to say that there is no hope to success. In fact, each of us already knows the answer to that. Each of you has a little bit of an understanding to what it takes to be successful. And the reason I know that is because of what you're wearing. Each of you sitting before me is wearing a cap and a gown. Each of you are sitting here as graduates. This graduation is a sign of your success. Getting through college was not a simple task. It took time and effort to complete, as well as perseverance through hardships, fears, and struggles. And as such, each of you has made it to graduation, and each of you knows what it takes to be successful. I want to thank each of you for taking this journey together, because while each of you has gone through different struggles and different experiences here at the college, you have been able to grow because of them, and your journey is going to begin once more. Though the path may be unseen, let us not be intimidated by it, for everything will be fine. Remember that you are not the only one who has struggled to succeed. Your fellow graduates have also struggled from one point to another. They have also not had an easy road to get here. In addition, the counselors that you've sought help from, the professors you've ran to during their office hours, the advisors you've asked for guidance, each of them has been in your shoes. They've each found their breaking points at one part, and they've each questioned their futures. They struggled just as us with their determination to continue. Yet here they stand alongside us as proof that things will go on, that the future still exists and the future is still accessible, and that the next phase in life is still possible. There's a quote that a professor once said to me while I came to their office hours that I think really fits nicely for us. Do not be afraid to step through open doors. If you wait until you think you're qualified to do something, you will never be able to do it. You already have the tools to be successful in your goals, and you have others who have shared in your journey. All you are left to do today is to be ready to begin once again. Therefore, let us become just like children and be excited for what the future holds. Thank you again, and congratulations, everyone. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our student trustee, Tiana Buttis. Thank you, Ryan. I now have the honor of presenting the award for our outstanding graduate for 2015. This award begins with all of us. Uh, it is a tremendous accomplishment to reach this point in our academic careers. Only about 40% of all Americans earn a college degree, and we're an even more select company when you consider that less than 7% of the world's population has done what we are today. There are 1,041 students earning a total of 1,151 associate's degrees as members of Cypress College's graduating class of 2015. That's right, some of our graduates are earning more than one degree tonight. In addition, 
the college is awarding a total of 938 occupational certificates to students. Two thirds of this year's graduating class, 670 students, is certified for transfer into California's public university system. 259 students are graduating with honors, meaning that they have maintained a grade point average of 3.3 to 3.74 during their entire college career here at Cypress. 65 students are graduating with high honors, meaning that they have earned a grade point average of 3.75 to 4.0. These students were considered for outstanding graduate of the year. And I think we should all give ourselves a round of applause. It is now my privilege to say a few words about this year's outstanding graduate, Amber Stopey. Cypress College's health science programs have provided some of the most challenging college curriculum anywhere. As a kinesiology major, Amber has handled this coursework masterfully, earning A grades in each of her 22 classes here. She has volunteered more than 100 hours related to her field of study and countless more on volleyball courts, helping coach competitive level club teams. In the fall, Amber will enroll at Cal State Fullerton and plans to continue on to earn her doctorate so that she can continue to help others. Amber, we're so proud of you. Please join me and accept your award. Congratulations. Thank you, Tiana. Greetings, classmates, friends and family, and the faculty and staff. I am honored to be chosen as this year's Outstanding Graduate of the Year to represent all of the outstanding students here at Cypress College. My story begins at a Kmart. Yes, Kmart. For those of you who don't know, Kmart was the top dog of superstores back in the day before Target and Walmart came around to steal its thunder. Anyways. Back in 1984, a young and beautiful Vietnamese woman named Tiffany was hired to train a handsome and smart German man named Brian as her manager for a Kmart in Seattle, Washington. They fell madly in love, got married, and then headed to the beautiful and sunny Southern California. I came along in 1995 and was raised in Buena Park with my super cool and hip older sister. I do wish that she, my parents, and my younger brother could be here today, but my sister's also graduating this week in Baltimore. And you know, firstborn gets dibs over the measly middle child. When I was in elementary school, at one point I literally thought I would grow up to be a lifeguard insurance agent supermodel lawyer. Pretty ambitious for a 10 year old if you ask me. Fast forward several years and my ambitions seem to lose direction. I had no idea what I wanted to do for my career when I was in high school, and I had been playing volleyball since I was in fifth grade. I was totally immersed in that world, and I made the future a secondary priority. As my senior year approached, I soon came to the realization that community college would be a really good option for me, because I did not want to go to, straight to a four-year university when I was not 100% sure about what I wanted to major in. I also did not want my parents to spend a lot of money at a large university when I could get the same, if not better, education here at a community college. So I threw away those boring college applications and started my life down a new unexpected path. The first thing I did was get a job. Since my parents love my very talented artist sister so much, I decided that I too wanted to be an artist. So I put on my apron and began to paint Beautiful, delicious masterpieces. Ones that were so wonderfully cheesy and toasted. Mm, that's right, I created sandwich art. I began working at the subway across the street as a sandwich artist. <laughs> I then completed 35.5 units my first year with all A's. Then after lots of research and self-reflection, I decided that a major in kinesiology and eventually a career in physical therapy would make me the happiest. I then left my job at Subway because I knew my coursework was about to triple with a health science major. 
During the fall of 2014, I received an internship at the Cal Rehab and Sports Therapy Clinic in Anaheim, where I completed over 100 hours of volunteer work. I also began volunteering at volleyball clinics and was later hired as an assistant coach for the SoCal Juniors Volleyball Club. Most notably, in the April of this year, I was offered and accepted the head coaching position for the freshman sophomore team at Millican High School. Next fall, I'll be attending Cal State University Fullerton to complete my bachelor's in kinesiology. After that, I plan to attend a three-year doctor of physical therapy program at either USC, Chapman University, or Azusa Pacific University. Although my time as a sandwich artist seemed very promising, I found that doing something you actually have a passion for is incredibly rewarding. Whatever it is you love, you have to give it 100% effort. You must be totally dedicated and committed in order to reach your goal. Abraham Lincoln once said, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my ax. I truly believe that preparation and hard work are the keys to success. But why do we want to be successful? What's the point to all of it? Isn't the ultimate goal in life to be happy? Yes. We all have responsibilities, but at the end of the day, our biggest responsibility is to ourselves and our own well-being. Being in a health science field has helped me realize how precious life is and to never take it for granted. It is so important to find something you love and rock it. I'm a strong believer in the idea that everything happens for a reason. The path that life takes you down is so unpredictable and unique to each and every one of us. Just think, if Kmart was never created, then perhaps I would not even exist. Or if I had pursued my dream of being a lifeguard insurance agent supermodel lawyer, there's about a 95% chance I'd be standing here in front of you today. Each of us, each of you has your own special story and should be very proud of yourselves for what you've accomplished thus far. Also, remember that you didn't get here alone. I know for sure I didn't. Whether it's your parents, friends, professors, distant cousin, your homegirl grandma, an Instagram inspirational quotes page, your BFF on Snapchat, whoever or whatever has helped you up to this point, make sure you do something to show them you care. Whether that's to smother them with hugs and cuddles, to throw their favorite color Skittles at them, to take 100 pictures after the ceremony for your mom to post on her very popular Facebook page, do it. A very wise Bill Nye the Science Guy once said, everyone you will ever meet knows something you don't. Respect their knowledge and learn from them. We should all remember Bill's words of wisdom as we reflect on our time here at Cypress College and as we, re as we move forward to the future. If you remember anything I have said here today, Remember to be true to yourself and follow the path to being purely happy. Good luck with wherever your journey takes you next. Thank you, graduating class of 2015, and congratulations. Thank you for your presentations, Ryan and Tiana, and congratulations to Amber, our 2015 outstanding graduate. And now it is my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Ms. Jolina Grande, president of the Cypress College Academic Senate and a faculty member in the Mortuary Science Program. She will recognize some of our very distinguished faculty. Jolina. On behalf of the faculty, I want to congratulate the class of 2015 on your achievements. And I challenge you to continue to reach for new goals. Each year, the Academic Senate recognizes outstanding faculty members for their commitment to education. The outstanding faculty awards are given to one full-time faculty member and one adjunct faculty member who have, above and beyond, the norm demonstrated outstanding teaching abilities and made significant contributions to your learning experiences. The Outstanding Full-Time Faculty Award for 2015 is presented to Professor Deanne Sato of the Science, Engineering, and Math Division.
Dee is described by her colleagues as exuding an outstanding dedication to her students and possessing a deep expertise in her subject area of biology. She offers seemingly endless energy in motivating and encouraging her students and builds creative and innovative learning environments for them. Congratulations, Dee. The 2015 Outstanding Adjunct Faculty Award is presented to Emma Anton, who, <laughs> who teaches in the Health Science Division and more specifically, our Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. <laughs> Emma's colleagues call her World Book because of her encyclopedic pursuit of knowledge. Not only does her research result in an ability to answer students' questions, but also those of fellow faculty. As a result, she has been called at least twice to serve as an expert witness in court cases. In her classroom, you'll find students creating 3D anatomy from Play-Doh or dolls being used to simulate fetal positions in the uterus. Also, they have a better understanding of the subject matter. Emma, congratulations. Each year, the Academic Senate also selects and presents the Charger Award. The Charger Award honors an instructor who has made significant contributions to the educational community outside of the classroom. Through either research, leadership, service, or creative endeavors, within his or her discipline. This year, the award is presented to Professor Peter Matthews of the Social Sciences Division. During his 28 years of teaching political science here at Cypress College, Peter has been known for his tireless commitment to students and the long hours he devotes to them. Consistent with this award, he is equally boundless outside of the classroom, where he is a frequent guest commentator on news broadcasts and talk radio programs, not only locally, but on the BBC as well. Last year, Peter's book, Dollar Democracy with Liberty and Justice for Some, How to Reclaim the American Dream for All was published. Thanks for your inspiring work, Peter. Congratulations. Once again, may we congratulate Dee, Emma, and Peter. It is also my pleasure to announce that the Academic Senate has conferred upon eight of our esteemed faculty who are retiring the title of Professor Emeritus. Those Professor Emeriti are Shirley Ashburn, Hong Chi, Kathy Franklin, Carol Green, Laura Greco, Michael Johnson, Kathy Janos, and Rosalie Majid. Thank you for your years of service to Cypress College, and I wish you the very best on your retirement. Thank you to all of our amazing faculty, and congratulations, Class of 2015. Thank you, Jolina. We are very proud of all of our faculty members here tonight. Congratulations to the outstanding faculty honorees and best wishes to our retirees. You will all be missed. A special part of the, our commencement program each year is recognition of our outstanding alumni. This is one of several significant programs sponsored by the Cypress College Foundation. Our foundation raises funds to help the college's students in a variety of ways including the scholarship awards that a number of you received last week at our scholarship awards ceremony. Here to give greetings from the foundation 
and to introduce the 2015 Alumnus of the Year is our friend, Mr. George O'Hara, President of the Cypress College Foundation Board. Thank you, Dr. Simpson. And now it's my honor to introduce our outstanding alumnus, U.S. Navy Captain Russ Bird. Captain Russ Bird's longtime dream of becoming a pilot took flight right here at Cypress College, and it brought him to this nation's service in the skies above Iraq and Somalia as a member of Operations Desert Storm, Southern Watch, and Continued Hope. Captain Bird logged more than 4,500 hours during his distinguished 27-year career as a naval aviator, including 100 combat hours and 650 carrier landings. Here at Cypress College, he was the top aviator on the flying team. He earned the same distinction when he transferred to San Jose State University. And yes, he was the best in his class in the Navy where he was the first newly winged aviator selected to fly the F-A-18 Hornet. Captain Bird lives in Colorado Springs, Colorado, with his wife, Christina, where he raises money for college scholarships offered through the Tailhook Association and works for the preservation of mountain bike trails. Captain Bird's service is so impressive, I encourage you to read his full biography, which appears in your printed program. But I really want you to hear directly from this inspirational alumnus of Cypress College. He represents so well the possibilities that are, are available to you and to all of our students. Captain Bird, will you please join me? <clears throat> Captain Bird, we're all proud of your accomplishments. In addition to this award, your name has been added to the Cypress College Distinguished Alumni Perpetual Plaque. Congratulations. I'll hold it for you back at the end of the seat. Wow. Thank you, George O'Hara, President. Thank you for the kind words and your leading support for this award. I am greatly humbled and honored to receive the 2015 Outstanding Alumni Award. Please let me take this time to give my sincerest gratitude to those who sponsor this award. Sincere thanks goes to the College, Cypress College Foundation and the Board of Directors who sponsor the award. It is obvious your efforts continue to help students achieve their dreams. To the Executive Director, of the foundation, Mr. Raul Alvarez, and his supporting staff. Thank you for coordinating the logistics. I am sure your job would be 500 times more difficult without staff personnel like Laura Stevens. Thank you. Special thanks to Mr. Chuck Gifford and Kathleen Ryland, who nominated me for this award. If it weren't for educators like them, yourself, I wouldn't be here today. To Cypress College, Board of Trustees, and other distinguished leadership from the North Orange County Community College District, your support of being here today is truly a sign of your dedication to this college and students graduating today. Thank you. To Cypress College, and its president, Dr. Bob Simpson. Thank you for your support allowing to be part of this prestigious ceremony. Dr. Simpson, it is through your tireless efforts and the educators you lead here at Cypress College, making it a premier community college it is today. I could not have made this journey alone Numerous people have supported me through my college education, military career, and now at Northrop Grumman as a manager. Many of my supporters were teachers, facilitators, who passed down their knowledge within my studies. The others, or should I say, the ones that made the biggest difference in my journey were my mentors. 
These mentors went beyond just teaching a subject or facilitating within a classroom. They also had a greater perspective of the overall journey I was trying to navigate. These mentors helped me clear the clutter that obscured the way to what I wanted to achieve. How did they do that? They listened. They listened to what I had to say. Then they took my thoughts and provided me the tools I needed to continue that journey. One of my longtime mentors, which I credit many of my aviation accomplishments towards, has joined us here today. Professor Chuck Gifford. Professor Gifford was the head of Cypress Aviation College Department here when I attended. The mentoring Professor Gifford provided me throughout my aviation career carried me all the way through. He had a greater perspective of the overall journey I was trying to navigate. Because of this, he guided me towards getting my bachelor's degree. With the degree in hand, it allowed me to get my commission within the United States Navy. And then after that, my coveted wings of gold. He had a greater perspective throughout what I was trying to do. Because of this, I just want to say thank you. Overall, Professor Gifford and his associates here provided me the aviation ability to safely fly on and off aircraft carriers during training and combat missions and brought me home safely many times. To the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for being that mentor for the past 38 years. Thank you, Professor Gifford. In conclusion, I want to say how grateful I am to receive this award, especially knowing that there are thousands of graduates who are equally deserving. I am more grateful for the opportunity to represent this institution as an outstanding alumnus. I consider it an honor to accept this award in front of the 2015 Cypress College graduates who will leave here today to shape their own career. Graduates, if you need support shaping that career, one place you could find it is on the Cypress College Foundation website or the alumni Facebook page. Join them today. There's a statement in the college website that holds very true to my experience here at Cypress College. It states, at Cypress College, you can start with nothing and leave with all the skills you need to thrive. I find that especially true of my experience here at Cypress College. While awards are wonderful to receive, just knowing Cypress College continues to mentor and provide students the skills to thrive is truly reward enough for me. Thank you again, Cypress College, for this award. Captain Bird, congratulations. We are so very proud of you. Graduates, this is truly a joyous time, and we are honored to be able to share this celebration with you. This is a day that most people never experience, College Graduation Day, a day that you have earned through your hard work, a day that has come because of your sacrifices, a day that makes all of those red pen corrections your teachers gave you on your essays, midterms, and final exams worthwhile. This is a day you and your families will remember for the rest of your lives. And while you have every right to be proud of what you have achieved and to celebrate, you know you did not do it alone. I want to ask each graduate to make sure that you tell those who have been there for you and who have supported your efforts, including your parents, your spouses, your children, your family, your friends, how very much their support has meant. 
make sure to take the time to let those in your life who have been there for you during this time know how very much you appreciate and love them, for your success is also their success. As president of the college, I have the privilege of serving on a number of community organizations, and one of my favorites is the Cypress Boys and Girls Club. Earlier this semester, I was asked if I would come uh, for their storybook day and read to grade school students. Uh, little did I know what I was getting into that day. I had the privilege of reading Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You Will Go to first graders, second graders, then third graders, then fourth graders, fifth graders, and finally sixth graders. Um, unlike our faculty members, my vocal cords weren't in shape for that, and so I was a little bit hoarse at the end. I was also at the outset a little concerned that the children would have little interest in my reading. Uh, but surprisingly to me, each class enjoyed the reading and they discussed enthusiastically the places they dreamed of going in their lives. Since that time, I've been thinking about this graduation, this graduation day and the places you will go, our graduates. Some of you will be transferring to four-year colleges or universities like Cal State East Bay, Erica, like USC or UCLA, preferably UCLA. <laughs> Some will be taking board exams in medical fields to become eligible to practice the skills you've learned. Some will be leaving us to begin careers and provide for your families in a way you were unable to do while enrolled as a college student. Regardless of the next steps, the places you will be going the places you can go are without limit because of what you have achieved here at Cypress College. Just as there are places you will be going, Cypress College too will be going places in the future. You may be unaware, but the local community supported us last November by approving a facilities construction bond that will transform our classrooms and laboratories over the next 20 years. We believe very deeply in our work here at Cypress College. Knowing that you, as members of the community, also believe in our work is very gratifying. Some of you sitting in the audience today worked on our campaign or voted in favor of the bond. We cannot thank you enough. Your support and generosity will allow us to fulfill the vision we describe to voters in articulating the needs of our students and the community we serve. As promised, our first projects include providing science, engineering, and mathematics programs in a state-of-the-art building. Your generosity will also allow us to build a Veterans Resource Center that will serve the needs of our veteran students and will be worthy of the sacrifices our men and women in uniform have made for us in service to our nation. We will be increasing our library and out-of-class support for students in accord with the expanding needs of a growing student population. So yes, Cypress College will be going places in the future. There's another place Cypress College will be going. Many of you may be unaware that the state of California finally recognized that the community college mission should not be limited as it has been in the past. Cypress College applied for and was awarded the opportunity to become one of only 15 community colleges in the state to offer a bachelor's degree to students. Our outstanding mortuary science program was recognized for excellence by the Chancellor's Office and was selected as one of those 15 schools who will participate in this initiative. As such, we will begin offering classes for students to meet requirements for the bachelor's degree beginning in the fall of 2017. Congratulations, mortuary science. Graduates, your time at Cypress College is now coming to an end, but your pursuit of knowledge does not stop today. Continue your education, whether formally or informally, and build upon the knowledge you have acquired here. Never lose your love of learning. If you wish now to enter the workforce, apply your newly acquired technical skills effectively, but be aware of the value of continuing to increase your knowledge and your skill base. If you are transferring, Excuse me. If you are transferring, continue to apply the personal attributes that have served you so well here at Cypress College. Persevere, work hard, demand of yourselves the best of which you are capable, knowing that the quest for knowledge and self-fulfillment can never be completely fulfilled. This is now your time, graduates, and your choices are before you to walk through the doors of your education, to take advantage of the opportunities that await you, 
to go, to go places as Dr. Seuss envisioned. It is your time to apply what you have acquired at Cypress College to the enrichment of your personal lives and to the betterment of your communities. Remember the lessons you have learned here and the friendships you have established. Apply your knowledge and skill with passion and with purpose and think of your time at Cypress College not as an end in itself or as representing the final attainment of an ultimate goal. Your time at Cypress College is but a part of the continuum of your ongoing and unfolding stories. As you now begin to write the next chapters of your lives, please remember this place, remember this time, and take pride in the knowledge that what you have attained at Cypress College will serve and endure throughout your lives. You will always be chargers. Congratulations, class of 2015. I would now like to reintroduce the president of our associated students, Ryan Just Johnston Powell. It is now my honor to introduce tonight's commencement speaker, Chief Jackie Gomez Whiteley, who very recently retired from Cypress Police Department. During her time in that role, she also served on the, on the Cypress College Foundation Board of Directors, and even prior to that, has been a friend and advocate of the college. Chief Jackie Gomez Whiteley's 29-year law enforcement career began just a few blocks from here as a police informer for Los Alamitos Police Department in 1978. She rose through many assignments, the ultimate being named Chief of Police right here in Cyprus in 2011 when she became the first female municipal police chief in Orange County. Her department has been recognized for excellence by organizations such as Crime Survivors and the Orange County Human Relations Commission. She is a Medal of Valor recipient, a recognized expert in terrorist threats, and also an educator, having taught police recruits at Golden West College's Criminal Justice Training Center and police managers at the San Diego Regional Training Center, as well as California State University Long Beach Center for Criminal Justice. She was the program coordinator for the Leadership and Ethics Institute and currently sits on the steering com committee. Like us, Chief Gomez Wiley is a community college alumni. In fact, in 2010, she was awarded the Golden West College Alumni Pillar of Achievement for her community policing efforts. She also graduated from La Jolla, or Loyola, Loyola Marymount, sorry, University, where she attended on a basketball scholarship and earned her master's degree at Chapman University. Chief, thank you for joining us in our moment of celebration tonight. Good evening, Chancellor Williams and Trustee Dr. Barbara Dunsheath and Mr. Jerry Brown, as well as Cypress College President Dr. Simpson, Foundation President George O'Hara, faculty, staff, family, and friends. It truly is an honor and a distinct privilege to stand before you today to honor the esteemed class of 2015. Please join me in giving them a well-deserved round of applause. When Dr. Simpson asked me to give the graduation address, I asked myself, how do you give a charge to the 48th commencement group of chargers at Cypress College who represent knowledge, creativity, skill, intellect, perseverance, and success, many of whom are graduating with honors and high honors, many who will continue their undergraduate studies at UC, California State, and other universities. I thought of what Cypress College means to me. It holds a special place in my heart. It's not only did I grow up in Cypress, but my family attended Cypress College and worked on the staff here for many years. Personally, 
I feel a connection to the college staff and students because I have had the opportunity to speak in a number of your classes. And I have come to know you best through serving on the Cypress College Foundation Scholarship Committee. The review of scholarship applications provided a unique glimpse into the type of students your class embodies. I learned your class is comprised of people who are continuing their education from high school, while others are returning to college after taking time off to care for family members and other responsibilities. And yet others who return to college after honorably serving our nation in the armed forces. As we start Memorial Day weekend, it is only fitting that we take a moment to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, and also to show our appreciation to all of those students, faculty, and family members, especially Navy Captain Russ Bird, who served, and others who are serving in the armed forces. Would you please, if you serve in the armed forces or are currently serving, please stand so we can recognize your dedicated selfless service. Thank you. In reading your, your stories through those applications, I have been inspired by your strength, character, and perseverance. Facing unprecedented odds, many of you found a way to continue to quench your thirst for knowledge, even in the midst of economic and personal challenges. As Dr. Simpson noted in his salute to your success, Cypress College is a special place where special things happen. And today is one of those special moments. I want you to pause. Give yourself a chance to be in the moment. Relish in the pinnacle of your success. Parents, spouses, family, and friends, enjoy the moment with your graduates, for without you, they would not have been able to come this far. And faculty and staff, reap the reward of knowing you directly impacted the minds and spirits preparing the next generation of our leaders. We live in a world marked by nanoseconds, so we need to remember to take time and be in the moment because you have all worked so hard to be here tonight. So I asked my daughter who was attending college what advice she would give me on how to inspire you? First and foremost, she reminded me not to be too long-winded. But most importantly, she wanted me to remind you to be positive and not freak out if you don't know exactly what you want to do for the future. That's what the next step is all about, finding your true passion. Outstanding graduate Amber Stobie is an example of someone who has found her passion being a student involves balancing competing interests, such as studies, work, volunteering your commu community, and for some, even raising a family. Amber is a great example of someone who is able to ma maintain this balance. Okay, minus the family part. You're not raising a family, right? Okay, and your parents aren't here, so I'm not in trouble, right? All right. In addition to her high IQ, she demonstrates a high degree of EQ, or emotional intelligence, as she recognized the value of education through her community college, because it would help her define her chosen career path and best prepare her to reach her goals of studying health sciences at Cal State University Fullerton and ultimately obtaining her doctorate in physical therapy. I'd like to offer you some advice that has served me well and helped me not only reach my dreams, but learn to overcome obstacles along the way. In the spirit of keeping this brief, there are four key thoughts I would like to share with you. First, dream big. Since I was a teenager, I lived by the mantra, dream and obtain it, imagine and become it. 
That stemmed from William Arthur Ward's saying, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. I was fortunate to have parents that believed in me and always told me I could do and be anything I wanted, as long as I was willing to work for it. There are no freebies in the game of life. You have to dream big, and why not? It's your life. It's your story. As a little girl, I can remember watching cop shows on TV like Adam 12. Now, looking at you, I'm noticing maybe in some of the millennials' eyes, you're not with me yet. Okay, how about Cagney and Lacey? No? Okay, a show's like maybe CSI, The Current. You get with me now? Okay. So ans answering this call to serve as a law enforcement, a law enforcement professional resonated with me, and from that time forward, I knew what I wanted to do. Like you, college prepared me to have a great future if I continued to work hard and dream big. My dream was not to just become a police officer, which back then was not really a woman thing. It was non-traditional for women. But I wanted to go beyond the police officer. I wanted to become a chief of police. You have already shown you are disciplined to focus on your studies, able to work hard, and dream big. We celebrate this milestone and chapter in your life as you move on to the next part of your journey at a UC, California State, or other university, or on your endeavors in your future career path. We look forward to hearing your stories in the future of how you became what you always dreamt was possible. Number two, believe in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. We all have a tendency to place artificial barriers in front of us, limiting what we think is possible. Your charge is to not allow these artificial barriers to, content, to confine or defeat you. Let me give you a few examples that illustrate this point. Dismissed from drama school, they said she's too shy to put her best foot forward. They said that about Lucille Ball. Turned down by a recording studio because they didn't like their sound and guitar music was on the way out. Who was that? The Beatles. Cut from the high school basketball team. Michael Jordan. Fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination and had no original ideas. It's ironic that I share that because today they're celebrating 60 years of his imagination and ideas. Walt Disney. His fiance died, he had a nervous breakdown, he failed in business twice, and he was defeated in eight elections. Abraham Lincoln. We may think these are amazing people because we are familiar with the achievement of their dreams. What we may not have known was the challenges and frustrations or artificial barriers placed in front of them that they had to overcome. What we do know is that they refuse to accept these judgments. They believed in themselves. They stuck to it and didn't let these barriers prevent them from reaching their destiny. When I said I wanted to be a motor officer, the supervisor in charge of the traffic unit told me I couldn't because girls don't ride motorcycles. Well, as they would soon find out, this girl does. Your perseverance on this stage, receiving your diplomas is proof you can succeed with all the challenges that life will throw your way. You are an inspiration and a reminder that we all need to keep believing in ourselves. You see, it's not only important for you, but in our world today, we need you to persevere. Number three serve others. There is nothing more honorable than living a life that matters in the service
to others. Both of our honorees today, outstanding alumnus Navy Captain Russ Bird and outstanding graduate Amber Stoby, are fine examples for us to emulate. Something as simple as giving the gift of a smile can make someone's day. You see, if we focus solely on ourselves, life becomes much more shallow and we miss the opportunity to care about something bigger and more important than ourselves. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the purpose of life is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Captain Bird's commitment to lifelong learning, learning by supporting college scholarships years after he received his formal education speaks volumes of his character and the need to pay it forward in the service of others. Thank you, sir. Michael Josephson talks about a life that matters. He says, what will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage, or sacrifice that enriched, empowered, or encouraged others to emulate your example. Number four, embrace change. It's been said that the only thing guaranteed in life is change. Today underscores that change of pivotal point in your lives as you will walk across this stage to receive your diplomas. As you transition into university life or into your career, you will again be transformed through the change process. These changes, although welcome and something you have consciously strived to achieve, will still bring about conflicting feelings of anxiety, fear, excitement, doubt, and exhilaration. This is normal and part of being human. Later in ca your careers, as you lead others, you will find that promoting change in others brings on some of these same feelings. At our core is a fear of failure. But as, as I've learned from Cypress School Superintendent Beverly Hempstead, the word fail merely stands for our first attempt in learning. So it is important that you lean into the challenge of being a change agent to help people and organizations grow and reach their full potential. We can look no further than our own communities, society, and the world to grasp the importance of change. Without change, or excuse me, with change comes a better place for all of us, and it will take your leadership to get us there. Our parents, family, and friends help carve out the values that define us. The faculty and staff at Cypress College have helped prepare you for, a life, for lifelong learning. And now you are ready for the next step, university studies and ultimately living a life that matters in bringing new order to things. In sum, dream big, believe in yourself, serve others, and embrace change. I challenge you, class of 2015, what are your dreams? My hope is that you will dream big and dream often. Life is not about finding yourself as much as, as much as it is about creating yourself and enjoying the ride. When life throws you a curveball, swing big and recreate yourself. Because it is through these challenges that life helps define who we are and allows us the opportunity to redefine ourselves, to grow and to be an inspiration to others. Live a life that matters and be the leaders of change for the betterment of our communities. I wish you all health, happiness, and success in your future as you make your indelible mark on our world. Congratulations, class of 2015.
Thank you, Chief, for those wonderful and inspirational remarks. We appreciate you being here to share your message, and we thank you for your dedicated support of the college, your support of our students, and your support of the community. Graduates, this is the moment you have been anticipating. Would you please stand? I would like Barbara, Dr. Barbara Dunsheath, Vice President of the North Orange County Community College District Board of Trustees to please come forward. Trustee Dunsheath, upon recommendation of the faculty, I present to you for conferral of the associate degree, the members of the class of 2015, all of whom have completed the state and district requirements for graduation. And now on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the North Orange County Community College District, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of California, I confer upon you the degree Associate in Arts or the Associates in Science with all the rights, benefits, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Graduates, you may be seated. Afterwards. Two of our outstanding professors, Michael Frianeza, a radiologic technology faculty, apparently his reputation precedes him, and Joel Gober, who teaches biology, will now introduce each member of the graduating class of 2015. Our Board of Trustees members will distribute the diploma covers and will congratulate the students. Juan Torres. <laughs> Maria Banson. Yeleni Cuevas. <laughs> Ruthie Honey. <laughs> Leslie Hinojosa. Maria Vicuña. Wailing Chan. Monica Monhe. Erica Flores. 
Jennifer Placencia. Joshua Paul Cruz. <laughs> Jessica Soto. Tanya Ortiz. Paula Tanamal. Jasmine Rivera. Gina Maganya. Diafanya Sedana. Desiree Pareco. Celine Aguilar. Lucero Alberto. Lauren Hong. Lucero Alberto. Sam Wen. Stephanie Garcia. Erica De Leon. Amalia Sanchez Barajas. Arthur Shetler. Charlotte Costudio. Carl Fune. Alberto Morin. Gabby Mendoza. Sandra Cornejo. Holly Mitchell. Socorro Bernal. Bennett Robbins. Christian Gonzalez. Priscilla Lentz. Murda Toscano Carmona. Thank you. Myra Roholahi. Elizabeth Orr. Carla Rodriguez. George Montez. Panya Booth. Omar Alejandro Anguiano. Ogaladia Ramirez. Daisy Beltran. Sarah Armstrong. Marissa Roberts. Michael Villegas. Villegas. Paulina Orantes. Sid Ahmed. Uh -huh. Emma Sid Ahmed. Maria Arango. Jocelyn Lopez. <laughs> Cynthia Gonzalez. Laura Camarillo. <laughs> Con Lay. Maricela Suarez. Jesse Chavarin. Fabiola Toscano. Jasmine Rivera. Rochere Lavert. Gisela Guerra. Elise Williams. Woo! Julia Shine. Utley. Shine Butler. Right, nice Thank you. Cheyenne Butler. Alejandra Lopez. Guadalupe Fajardo. Vanessa Cruz. 
Kilgore. Thank you. Shalandia Kilgore. <laughs> Jonathan Recento. Rachel Tiffany Sonoy. Raquel Macias. Brandy Felix. Helen Ma. Juria Champi. Martin Diaz. Tui Hong. Ashley Cochran. Nian Nguyen. Jacinda Weisinger. Angela Vicky Varia. Justine Renee Harris. Tu Tran. Okay. Michaela Giselle Carcelar Malari. Thank you, Lavon. Lavon Canonigo. Malik Majdalani. Congratulations. Brittany Lindbergh. Reginald Dante Williams. Jordan Wozniak. Jessica Marie Jones. Perry Barker. Jacqueline Marie Regiel. Jane Kim. Matthew Luke Coleman II. Mayrani Rosas. Gina Carrasco. <laughs> Dustin Garcia. Mary Avila. Justin Renee. Justine. Justine, thank you. Justine. Is it my turn? Justine Benya Renee Scanlon. Susel Cisniega. Congratulations. Keaton Williams. Woo! Michelle Chunning. Thank you. Thank you. Brianna Sanchez. Woo! Christina Vo. Lauren Rojo. Woo! Sarah Lobato. Nevalonia Simpson. Yes, soon, Rachel on. Eric Cordova. Yen Lam. Super, super Mark. Grace Supermark. Brielle Poirier. Tara Marcel. <laughs> Tara Marcel Williams. Bao Chao Bui. Card. Lauren Nuka Orozco. Allison Kale. Edgar Espinoza. Jenny Wynn. Jacqueline Elizabeth Youngerman. Thank you. Congratulations. Jacqueline. Elizabeth Youngerman. Woo! Carmen Batris. Sir Ann Sawaf. Thank you. Sarah Ann Sawasaki. Jasmine Lopez. Victoria Miles. Laura Manriquez. 
Zardana Nawabi. Yvonne Vargas Delgado. Stephanie Nader. Fong Tran. Angie Leanne Garcia. Kate Benson. Cassandra Burkhart. Nicole De Simone. Roxana Burns. Okay. Congratulations. Heather Tran. Ida Lee. Monica Slade. Congratulations. Thank you. Wee Wen. Jacqueline Chavaria. Lone Wen. Atali Oliva. Joy Case. Rita Hernandez. Mylin Artega. Mylin Artega. Moriah Dobos. So Beta Via Velasquez. Augustine Alamia. Sean Groves. Christine Gutierrez. Angela Call. Joshua Kratt. Nung Do. Brian Han. Jennifer Byerly. David Vavanko. Carly Hegrapper. Thank you. Congratulations. Carly Hegraberg. Vanessa Estrada. Lisa Gina Bolin. Reina Pacana. Catherine Taylor. Clinton Paulino. Alexia Ozaleda. Andrea Fung. Angelica Abania. Zheng Zheng Chen. Brianna Johnson. Eric Hernandez. Laxamana. Rochelle Laxamana. Carlos Enrique Crispin. George Felix. Christy Pring. Arthur Wen. Dahlia Eugenio. Eduardo Lazaro. Nicole Jones. Thank you. Alicia Pando. Graciela Mendez. Deborah Nearing. <laughs> Shagoya Michelle. Brown? Yeah. Clifton Johnson. <laughs> Jesus Santini. <laughs> Jason Tompkins. <laughs> Eric Lund. Sonora. Thank you. Sandra Munoz. Brian Cha. 
Diana Ornelas. Judith Don. Jennifer Soto. Erica Larson. Bill Ashley. Hi, Dr. Gilbert. Hey, hello. Jasmine Daliwal. Nicole Coriz. Raquel Marshall. Marcus Phillips. Jeffrey Livingstone. Edith Alvarez. Raquel Burns. Pardon me, Rachel Burns. Emmett Jager. Samuel Phillips Class. Thank you. Okay, ready? Yep. Karina Flores. Thelma Samiva Bilal. Christian Garcia Villa Senor. Stephanie Pelzer. Congratulations. Berlin Renee Ortiz. Berlin Renee Ortiz. Hey, Ophelia Miranda. Elizabeth Allen. Belinda Elizabeth Allen. <laughs> Nicholas Peters. Okay. Christina Roselli. Everett Burnett. Congratulations. Angelica De La Certa. Emily Schmidt. Elizabeth Hernandez. Lisa Palacio. Ina Angelica. Quazan. Tiana Hatchi. Elizabeth Garcia. Tao Vo. Michael Monty. Me or my? Me win. Anna Echeverria. Mariano Sororzuno. Patsy Rojas. Denise Cabrera. Sandy Granados. Leticia Lopez. Fatima Atala. Jeffrey Hernandez. Monique Santana. Stacy Aspaturian. Stephanie Lopez. Jason Ingalls. <laughs> Rini Ortega. Carissa Cordero. Catherine Vargas. Alan Hermano. Thank you. Nicoletta Sassina. Elizabeth Casillas. Keely McChristy. Grace Camacho. Tessa Marie Ortega. <laughs> Erica Guterres. <laughs> Kelly Stone. <laughs> Casey Hernandez. <laughs> Kiltone Hu. Brandy Wisnant. Jennifer Wen. Skylar Thank you. Carl Marquez. Thank you. 
Skyler Bradford. <laughs> Diane Navarro. <laughs> Steve Crawford. <laughs> Megan Michelle Imperial. Brandy Brody. <laughs> it's Subi Gretchu Raya. Cassidy Lynn Johnston. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. Van Doe. Congratulations. Devin Weaver. <laughs> Florian Vigoro. Sarah Owens. Yeah. Meredith Sims. Thank you, Meredith. Took win. Meredith Sims. <laughs> Mohammed Wajdalawi. Oh, God. <laughs> Jennifer Almeida. <laughs> Mary Eng. Haley Brooks. Woo! Congratulations. Thank you. Daisy Sanchez. Melody Hall. Woo! Andrew Corey. Congratulations. Jasmine LeBlanc. Woo! Natalie Elizabeth Boniface. Christopher Folger. <laughs> Trevor Lennon. <laughs> Renee Enriquez. <laughs> Michael Taylor. <laughs> Jamie Sandy. Yay! Crystal Smith. Renteria. Esther Renteria. <laughs> Damaris Loera. Jocelyn Andrade. <laughs> Andrea Rincon. Tony Marie Garcia. <laughs> Jimmy Rodriguez Jr. <laughs> Linda Dabney. Sammy Deary. Okay. Okay. Jesse Gonzalez. Omar Al Hassan. Sierra Burke. Thomas Oglesby. Destiny Mesman. Fariba Sharifi. Nicholas Ginsburg. Marco Antonio Limon. Vincent T. Lee. Good to see you. Rosine Farargi. Jay Sun. Nicholas Min Bui. David Alagas. Sabrina Miller. Oh. Eric Go. Steve Bustos. Elizabeth DiHaro. Maria Boz Medina. Jason Meadors. Sochil Lopez. Okay. Vidi Diano Martinez. Rafael Reeves. <laughs> Lord William Ong. Daniel F. Harb. <laughs> Manuel Trujillo. Andrew. Cha. Andrew Cha. Congratulations. 
Andrew Cha. Patrick M. Roberts. Amanda Gasolin. Matthew Cruz. Rainey Delvan. Charles Cordray. Janice Mentahimoso. Melanie Tober. Russellin Uriola. Ashley Martin. Julie Duff. Kayla Shekels. John Duff. Noemi Gill. Sandra Lynn Smith. So I think we're going to be waiting until the flag's done so you can keep us three in succession. Since we're going to be the last three for that point. Carolyn Ann Sabas. Ryan Johnstonbaugh. Kaylee Kramer. Oh, I'm gonna wait till they go. Something happened. <laughs> Oliver B. Morales Jr. Evelyn Garcia. <laughs> Fernando Lozano. <laughs> Najish Youssef. <laughs> Salam Zbini. Desiree Bishop. Tiana Buttis. And our last graduate, Amber Stoby. Graduates, please stand. Will Ryan Johnson Bow please join me once again at the podium? Ryan. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Graduates, please follow me and move your tassel from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking music faculty member Gary Gopar and the students who have provided tonight's music. Our thanks also to Genesee Bowserman for that beautiful rendition of the national anthem and the alma mater, which she'll perform in just a minute. Thank you all for attending tonight. We invite you to be our guests at a reception in honor of our graduates and their families. 
During the reception, which is sponsored by our Associated Students Organization, our faculty and staff can greet the graduates and congratulate them on their accomplishments. The reception will be held in the area just behind the audience. One final announcement before we conclude tonight. The Associated Students are pleased to give each of tonight's graduates a photo frame from the college. The certificate to redeem this frame is inside your diploma cover. You can pick up the frame at the reception that I just mentioned. To go along with the frame, photographs of tonight's commencement ceremony will be posted in a gallery on the college website and also on our social media sites. Now ladies and gentlemen, now ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the singing of the alma mater and remain standing during the recessional. An usher will indicate when it's time for your row to exit.
this again. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get letter D right. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Let's play pomp and circumstance. We've done that. Uh, done in this horn. <laughs> Let's do if I were a bell. Okay. So, so what? We're done? Oh, yeah. cool. That's fine. Okay. Bolio. I don't. You got it. Let's do something.